Okay, what's good y'all and welcome back to my channel. I'm Crispina. My everyday makeup look routine, I guess. Just what I would do if I wanted to wear makeup but not do too much, you feel me? And basically, I forgot to film an intro. So I'm filming one now, which is hours later. So this is not my fresh makeup, fresh face. Just uh, give it a thumbs up and a subscribe for me. That's all I ask and keep watching. Check one, two, again. Man, I wish I was with a friend. I don't know where to begin. I don't know. I'm gonna start. Okay, so first I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics Dual Ended V10 brush. And the way I do my eyebrows is I'm taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills Dead Brow in Dark Brown, I believe. And I outline the bottom to kind of get my shape going. And then I use my arch kind of as my guideline. So I use the bottom from the top of the arch, I go down to create the tail. And then from the top, I go across like parallel. So that way it like mimics the front of the brow. And then here you can see I'm just going in and I'm just going deeper with my tails because that's where the hair grows the least for some reason with me. So I'm just making sure it looks more, I don't want to say artificial, but you know, just more like a, like drawn in. And then I'm taking this BH Cosmetics Studio Brow like the duo pencil and using the thin side and then I'm just kind of going in where my brush wouldn't get and doing like hair like strokes. I'm using the tan shade from the BH Cosmetics Perfecting Concealer and I'm in light medium and then I kind of like drag it over, drag it down and then blend with my finger and then I'm taking the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser Primer and rubbing that all over my face and repeating that same step on the top of my brows. So I went across and then I start blending up. And then once I blend it up so far, I start using my finger so it would blend in like more seamlessly. Okay, and from that same BH Cosmetics like concealer wheel, I'm taking the peach shade to counteract the darkness from my under eyes and then also taking a more creamy concealer like peach corrector from Ruby Kisses and I'm putting that over the dark areas of my mouth. Okay, so right here I'm going in with my Real Techniques sponge and I just cleaned it and I'm blending in all that concealer. And then next I'm taking these illuminator drops and just kind of wiping it all over my face to give me a natural shine because they're not like crazy blinding, but they work. Okay, so using this Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation and concealer in number two natural, I'm using that to highlight the inside of my face. And then using that same foundation slash concealer in 6 Sand Beige, I'm using it on the outside of my face using the base of the sponge to blend the darker shade out. And then for the inside, I'm using the more funnel shaped of the sponge and just going back and forth with like the dabbing motions. So right here, I'm just making sure everything is blended in underneath my eyes, on my eyeball, my forehead. And then after I blend underneath my eyes, I pat in with my It's My Ray Ray number no. 5 brush and my Makeup Revolution Luxury Powder in Banana underneath my eyes. And then I kind of do any other spot that I'm bound to get oily in. So on the sides of my nose, my forehead, I even do it on my chin too. Because my T-zone is the most oily. And I don't know why I was so red today, but the powder kind of helped reduce the redness as well. So right here I'm going in with my LA Colors contour brush and I went in with the Pacifica contour powder in Sunkissed and I like this because it's between like a medium and cool tone shade so it like it's good at mimicking like what natural cheekbones would look like and so I did that and then just so I could diffuse it out so it wasn't just so sharp I went in with my It's My Rare number no. 3 brush and just blended out that contour powder a little bit. Okay, and with the BH Cosmetics uh, brush, I'll just put the link below for the brush set. And using the white shade in the City Mini Palette by Maybelline, I'm just highlighting my brows. And taking this Shimmer Radiant Brick from Makeup Revolution and my It's My Ray Ray's number no. 5 brush, I'm just highlighting the side of my face and deepening it up. And then to top it off, I'm using the Wet n Wild highlighter and Precious Petals. And using that on my nose and kind of like the nose bone, I guess, area. And then I'm taking what's left of my Max Fix Plus and spraying my face and <laughs> air drying it. And I went in with the e.l.f. 
eyeliner and honestly this is kind of hard to do on camera so I kind of did my best but I just kind of did the triangle method going straight across flicking it up and then filling it in because I felt like that was like the safest way for me to kind of get the wing going and then right after I do my eyeliner if I don't do my mascara it'll get clumpy because the eyeliner will dry on my eyelashes so I do that and then this Morphe palette, I'll put that down below too. And this BH Cosmetics, I think that's a V6 brush, I believe. And then I'm just blending in that orange shade to get, make it look like I have a little bit of flesh. All right, y'all, so this was it for today's video. By the way, it was kind of really hard to do the liner on camera, so I'm gonna really work on that because like, I don't not like it, but it could have been more, I don't know, you feel me? But, <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching, and before you know it, I'll be back with a new video.